step number one, we're going to close this. Uh, by the way, any questions about constructors? Anything that you'd like to discuss? Uh, there will be many times that we revisit many of these topics, and you can consider this to be a very informal introduction to constructors. Next week, we're going to open the formal presentation and go through a lot more things related to the constructors. It's actually a pretty significant topic to discuss because there are also copy constructors and um, you know the impact all of this makes on the object lifetime, the need for, for C++ references, uh, the way pointers could be or references could be used with them. There's a lot more to talk about. All right. So switching gears and having uh, you know a remaining 20 minutes to do something uh, with the uh, so I'm just going to close the solution and go file uh, and uh, new project uh, create new project so if I can do this by memory we have to switch to Win32 project to uh, be able to compile it with graphical user interface uh, we'll give it uh, name timer right so I'll name it timer. Uh, and uh, just click OK. Uh, so it goes here next. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is to, like, you know, that's, you already know, I, I like doing this. Uh, make it an empty project. Do not, do not have this uh, environment introduce any of its own code, just an empty project. So click Finish. OK, that's good. So the next thing is uh, that um, I need to show my solution. And uh, perhaps, you know, as always, I can add like uh, uh, main.cpp, main.cpp to this project, add that. Uh, then um, uh, do something here like uh, um, int main, right? And then. Um, say return zero right so it's a minimal uh, version of that function so the next thing that I'm going to do is that uh, also uh, you know I'm going to be doing this by memory so I will go to uh, uh, project properties right? and I'm going to say that I think in C++ I need to in the code generation I will switch to uh, from uh, multi-threaded debug DLL. I think I will be switching to uh, mm, um, from debug to just multi-threaded debug, not DLL, just by to multi-threaded. I think that's the, one of the changes that we need to make. Another change in the linker, and I think it's in the input section. Uh, we're going to add, hopefully it's still there, the previously compiled fltk.lib file. Okay. And then ignore specific libraries. I forgot what that was, so I will ignore it for now. I'll just say apply. Okay. And um, then um, uh, what we're going to do and I guess I, I will just follow sort of my, my some of my notes here. In your example online, it says <coughs> multi-threaded DLL. Multi-threaded. FLTK. Really? Um, Instead of the debug that you selected. Um, let me check this. So linker input. Uh, actually, no. C plus um, plus. Code generation. Code generation. Multi-threaded, uh, so what should I be choosing? You According to your website, it says multi-threaded DLL. Um, is that this the one you want? Oh, this yes, one yes. Oh, oh, yes. yes. oh, oh, oh yes, of course, yes. Because this is, thank you, thank you. Because because we could have compiled FLTK with debug build, then we would be using the debug one. So in this case, let's just use multi-threaded DLL. Okay, just to simplify things. Thank you, Eric, I appreciate mm -hmm. it. So, um, Next next step, I'm going to jump to my drive, and I think it's a D drive, where I have CIS255, and then I have this uh, timer. So it creates this uh, subdirectory for me, my D drive, CIS255, timer is the name of the project. So um, then I will say uh, new folder, 
and I will I will name it fluid project that's where I'm going to keep in this subfolder this is where I'm going to keep all of the design for my graphical uh, graphical user interface all right so that's one the second thing is that I did ask you to preserve uh, fluid uh, uh, when you compile it at home. You need to uh, make sure that you have access to it. Um, and that was the reason we, we didn't copy it. But I think if I try to cheat, I think in my download somewhere here, I, s I am lucky to still have it available right here, I think. Uh, fluid and see if it's if it's compiled uh, fluid mm, I have a debug version of fluid compiled so I'll, I'll use this one and maybe I have it someplace else I don't know um, um, so uh, uh, in in the version of of FLTK that you download full tick is another name for it right so there's a fluid subdirectory if you build it using release version like we did with all of our executables or this one well actually let's see if it runs if the de debug version of it runs um, to, to do, to do uh, it's not working all right uh, let me try to locate let me see how far am I into this let me actually stop this and save the segment 